What's up, everyone? I'm Jazz Marie. And I'm Anna B. And we're out here at the legendary SOBs for Rhythm of the Night, presented by Shot Collins. So make sure you keep watching and stay connected. Okay, guys, right now I'm here with the lovely Layla Hagazi. She's hitting the stage tonight. Did I say your name correctly? Yes, you did. Yay. Hey, I didn't want to slander the name, the name. <laughs> Tell me, you wrote your first song at the age of 11. So what was it about? Because at 11, we were not going through anything. <laughs> it was about love, and I had never been in love. So I was a liar. And then, <laughs> and now when I write, it's honest, and it's really about, you know, real things that I've experienced and witnessed, and or, you know, just stories that I've kind of heard from other people. And, you know, that's it's from a more realistic place now. Okay, so I listened to the Monday track, and we all have the Monday blues, and it is Monday. So how do you prepare for the lovely Mondays? I do a lot of yoga. Yeah, I'm actually a certified yoga teacher, and it's, it's the best thing in the world. And it's actually really connected to singing as well, because, you know, you're always working with the breath. And that is like the thing that, yeah, just breathe. That's what you got to do. I took one yoga class. I'm trying to get flexible. I'm going to need a couple more because I'm old and... I'm not flexible at all. Yes, I am. No, I'm not old. I'm not old. I was doing my little research on you and I know you're into soul and jazz and you have some, some people you look up to are really classic like Aretha Franklin, um, don't tell me because I really did my, Norma Jean, uh, Alicia Keys, um, Billie Holiday, so you were introduced to them at a young age, like how did you get into that type of music? Um, I mean I've been listening to that type of music for a long time and um, it was really in college, though, that I started to really get into it, and I was taking this history of recorded music class, and we went into that type of music, and I just fell in love with it, and it was just all I listened to for like four years. <laughs> so. so does music run in your family, or, or you just fell into it? Honestly, my twin sister is also a musician, but other than that, not really. Um, my great-grandmother played piano by ear, but that was about it. Everyone else is... Uh... And you played a piano as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, she used to name the notes after people in her family because she couldn't read music, but there was an L. There was an, an O. My sister's name is, begins with O. So, yeah, but she was just, like, naturally really talented. The song that you had, Mirror Mirror, it seems really like personal. So can you tell us a little bit about that song? Like what place were you in to write that kind of song? about body image and um, just society's standards about what we should look like and how it's just never enough and I think just being in an arts profession too you know there's like this you have to you know bust your butt till you just can't 
do it anymore and it's like this really just expectations you know a lot of unrealistic expectations of you know what we're all capable of and what we can do and it's kind of just about that you know it's a little dark but it's uh it's real so So being a female artist in the industry, do you feel pressure to maintain a certain image? Absolutely. It's, it's a part of every female musician's life, unfortunately, and especially as a, a lead, you know, as kind of a front runner, you, there are expectations and whether they're fair or not, you know, it's, it's really tough, you know, like um, on a day to day basis, I barely wear makeup, like I just don't, I don't have the energy for it, but, you know, I wonder what would happen if I just went on stage without all that stuff, you know, if I like just went up there like a lot of guys can go on stage and you know that's not to say they don't dress up but I think there's just a lot less expectation when it comes to to guys you know and it's just um, it's never just about your music I mean it, that's a layer of it of course but you gotta you gotta you gotta try extra hard and it, you know it, it can be a little uncomfortable at times because you want to be kind of appreciated for your art and and you know and your music and but to pretend it's not a factor it's like no you have to have a look and uh, and I have my issues with that, so. I understand because I don't feel like dressing up all the time either. Sometimes you just want to be comfortable, but you look fine right now anyway. <laughs> so what are you performing tonight? What can we expect tonight before you hit the stage? Because I know you gotta go. You can expect that I'm just gonna go with it and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. And um, I mean, the house band is great, you know? Like, we didn't get to rehearse all that much, but we're all just gonna wing it. It's gonna be fun and, you know. So. Well, you have the vocals, so you already got it down packed. And just tell everyone your social media where they can follow you, Layla in the building. So just hit the okay. social media so they can follow you and, and just stay active, your website and all that. It's, um, it's facebook.com Layla Hagazi, um, at Layla Music, Twitter, at Layla Hagazi, Instagram. I think that's it, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all. The website, oh, yeah, website LaylaHagazi.com. New website should be out today, I believe. Okay. Yeah, nice. it's waiting for that launch to happen. Nice. So. Well, good luck tonight. And this, once again, is Layla Hagazi. And good luck. I know you're going to do your thing, girl. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you for sitting down with me.